This is the instructions. The standard controller. The fuel pump. And this is the heater. This is air inlet. And this is hot air outlet. This is exhaust outlet. And this is air inlet. This is fuel inlet. Now let's check accessories. This is 25 mm air inducting. This is hot air out ducting. And this is exhaust pipe. Melting plate to fix the heater. This is fuel pipe. This is a fuel standpipe which we install in the fuel tank. Hot air outlet. And this is for fixation. This is the dust cover. Exhaust silencer. This is six meter cable. We also got four meters. This is the air filter, or we call it intake silencer. It is connected to this ducting. The filter is to prevent the dust or other small things. This is the fuel pipe, which is connected to the fuel pump or the fuel stand pipe. This is the seal gasket, which we put on the heater to prevent the leak of exhaust. Fuel pump bracket. Fuel filter. Clamps for hot air ducting. These are clips we use on exhaust pipe and air inducting. This is the clamp for exhaust pipe. This is the clamp for air inducting. These are mini clamps we use to fix the fuel pipe. These are nylon cable ties. And some screws. These two are fuses.
we put them here. The binding post. This is the fuel tank. If we have the fuel tank, then we don't need the fuel standpipe. These are some accessories for the fuel tank. Make a hole at the bottom and use an iron wire to connect. Let's install the heater. Leave at least 10 cm distance between the air inlet and the ventilation hole. The temperature will be too high if the distance is too short as there is no air coming in. So it would be better if we leave 10 or 20 cm distance. But the hot air outlet won't be influenced by the distance. Also leave 10 cm distance here for the easy installation of mounting plate. Now let's put on this seal gasket just like this. This gasket can prevent the leak of exhaust. And install this mounting plate on the heater. Get some nuts to fix the plate. Now let's install the black fuel pipe. Tighten the clamps to fix the fuel pipe. Make sure it's really tightened. Plug in the white fuel pipe and fix it. And do the same to the exhaust pipe.
tightened the clamp for exhaust pipe. And let's install the air inducting. Tighten it up. Install what we've got and fix it. And now fix the air inducting. Install the air filter. Don't forget to clean the filter regularly. Tighten it up. Now let's install the fuel pump. Cut the pipe at about 1 meter. Don't go over 1 meter. Install the fuel filter. Remember to put on the fuel pimp bracket. Fix the fuel pump.
connect the fuel pipe to that on the heater. Tighten it up. Install and fix the hot air out ducting. Connect the cable and tie it up. Be sure to press the button on the side if you want to connect or disconnect the plug. Fix this plug. Now connect the plug of the controller. Connect the plug of the fuel pump. Pay attention to these two wires. They must be connected to the main power source or the battery. Don't connect it to the SIG lighter. Press power button for 2-3 two, two, seconds and the heater will be turned on. AOO stands for ventilation mode. Now switch to heating mode A01 and the machine is ready to heat. At the first operation of the heater, we may need to turn the machine for like 3 or 4 times because the fuel pipe is long and it takes time to export air and import fuel. Now let's check the new controller. This is the power button. Press it for 2 seconds and the heater will be turned on. Press power button again and the heater will enter into ventilation mode. Then the heating mode. The little sound means the heater is heating. The third button is used to switch between auto mode and hand operated mode for temperature adjustment. Now it's auto mode. The other one shows the ambient temperature. The other one shows the setting temperature. We can set a temperature as we like, for example 30 degrees Celsius. If we press the third button again, the heater will turn into hand-operated mode. The auto sign disappears. The bars in the lower left corner shows the speed of fan. We got 5 Gs. These two are add and drop buttons. The last button is used for timing. up to 23 hours. Let's try to make the heater shut down by itself in one minute. Press it again and the controller will start to count down. The fuel passes through the fuel pipe slowly when the heater is in operation. Turn it off. Make sure the heater has cooled down before we cut the power off. 
Otherwise, the turbine will be broken because of the heat. That's how we install a VVKB heater. Thank you for watching.